purchase price today when you can pay over time. Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. of plastic could be so much fun. Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. like this. We're doing some spring cleaning. We're kicking off our spring home month here at HSN with a today's special. A fabulous price on our Field Smith by Earthwise 1800 PSI electric pressure washer. Today's special price $169.95. We've got free shipping. We have five flex pay. My name is Sarah. I'll take you shopping, but let me tell you, it's all about these great results. If you want that old fence to look like new again, look at the difference of a pressure washer from Earthwise. This is our HSN exclusive brand. You have mold. You've got, you know, maybe some gunk around that brick on that fireplace. Maybe it's your siding. You want clean. You want fresh. It's the cobwebs. It's the dirt. It's the grime. Maybe you don't need to restain. Maybe you don't need to repaint. Maybe you just need a great power wash. Maybe you don't need new patio furniture. With Earthwise, you've got a fabulous solution, and we are giving you our most powerful, most easy to maneuver machine we've ever offered here in HSN history. Not only is it 1800 PSI, it's 13 amps. It has the largest detergent tank we've ever offered. We've doubled the size of the detergent tank. And because we're HSN, we do fun colors because yes, you should pick a fabulous pressure washer that matches your mood. We've got this sunny yellow color. Isn't that bright and fabulous? Look at this. You've got that incredible nozzle here right in the holster, ready to go. You've got these huge big wheels on the back so you can roll this around. Here's the green. It's like a, a nice, fabulous earth green, grass green color. We have it for you in the red, which has been our number one seller. Check that out. Here's the purple. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? Yes, why not have a pressure washer in purple? Then we have the gray, another bestseller today. It's a great classic look. And then we have our blue. On board, every single pressure washer are all the tools, all the nozzles you need. Plus, you get a 25-foot cord. It has an additional cord that plugs in that gives you another 30 feet. So you are going places you've never gone before with this pressure washer. Let me tell you, the sky's the limit. No, wait, your roof's the limit. No, the eaves are the limit. How about those windows on the third story? We got it, we got it covered electric. So there's no gas, there's no oil, there's no fumes. 13 amp motor, that's gonna push 1.2 gallons of water in a minute. That's 1800 PSI. That's the pressure. 25 foot high pressure hose. It's fiber reinforced, large detergent tag. That's the largest we've ever offered. And you've got onboard nozzle storage. 
And now we're gonna see in action, because enough of me blabbing about it, let's make sure that Peter Kukulin is here to show you what it really does. Hi, Thanks. Peter, good morning. Well, Great there's a lot to you. talk about. Good to see you as well. Yeah. I mean, this is a great, great pressure washer. I mean, I think I've been offering pressure washers here at HSN for over 15 years, and this one is amazing. First thing you're gonna notice is that this is a complete redesign. It's a total new look for our pressure washer. Mm -hmm. It really looks like those commercial units that you can you know, buy that are very expensive or the ones that you can rent. It's amazing that we have this. And there is that nozzle um, storage area that we were talking about, four different nozzles plus Sarah, this is so awesome, and everyone should know this. We are including the turbo nozzle, but I'm gonna make you wait for that to see that turbo nozzle in action. <laughs> Let's see our 25 All degree right. nozzle. This is the one you're gonna use the most often. You can see it's that little bit of fan design on that, but enough pressure to use this on the driveway, the sidewalk, on the fence. And you talked about it. It renews all those different areas. You thought it was time to replace that fence or the deck, throw out the patio furniture. You can just improve the look everywhere outside in seconds. And I think that's why everyone loves having a pressure washer and maybe you've borrowed it and maybe you've rented one, is that you get immediate and instant results with, I mean, the fact yeah. is with doing very little work. All you're doing is hooking up your garden hose, turning on the water, you're plugging it in, and you have amazing power. So you're cleaning without scrubbing. There's no elbow grease. There's no chemicals involved. You are just using the power of this pressure washer, and it's an amazing design. And here's something that is so cool. Yeah, this is all new design today, Absolutely. right? We've I never think done this. Absolutely, exclusive here at HSN. We have this 25-foot pressurized hose. Now, that does may not seem like a big deal, but we've never had that before. So what it means is, even though this is really simple to roll around, I can be way, way, way far away from the machine. I mean, I still have so much more cord to go and not have to worry about even moving it. So think about it, the whole deck. I can go down the whole driveway. I can remember so many times. So I have, in the front of my house, I have all these trees and then the walkway that goes to the street, I can never get I, I get like the last six feet like and, I and I can't do that. I have to go get a second extension cord, the whole thing. This way, you're gonna be able to do that whole walkway, the entire driveway and deck. And it really is important. And also, you talked about how it's reinforced and it's a lot more flexible than they were years ago. So it just makes it even easier to use your pressure washer. So okay. let me do some the more. The proof is in the pudding, Peter. Kukala. Yeah, exactly, it's so easy. So with anything, when you're using your pressure washer, you can start further away, but when you need more power, you can get even closer and really start to blast away all that dirt and grime. But in so many of these areas, it's just easy to do because that power is there. 1800 PSI, I would think it really is the perfect amount of pressure. You don't need more, you don't want less. This gives you exactly what you want. But more important than just the, pr the pressure, did I miss a spot? I don't like when I miss a spot there. <laughs> more important than just that PSI is if you don't have all those different nozzles or those tips to use, then you're not gonna be able to utilize the power in the right way. With these, with the four that we're getting, they're all metal. The connection's all metal. And look at that, we have this brass connector right there. I just pull that down. Let me do that again so you can see how that slides down just like that. So changing them is quick and easy. Pull that down, I snap it in place, it pulls back up, and now you're set to go. Four different nozzles plus the turbo nozzle. And here's a little chart. It gives you an idea of what those different nozzles are for. But more importantly is when you see, when you see on the back of your unit, it's gonna tell you color-coded plus what different oh, tip it is. So there you great. can see the black one is our soap um, dispenser. So you're gonna be able to put all that soap from that huge soap that our tank um, with low pressure. That red one is our zero degree. That's that laser jet. That's gonna be able to project that power over 16 feet. 25 degree, you're gonna use it all the time. And then you've got that 40 degree. That's something that you're gonna use for possibly washing the car, some of the other light duty jobs. Because again, sometimes you don't wanna to have too much power. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna be damaging a surface. So maybe that 40 degree is great for the patio furniture, certainly for washing the car. But now here's the fifth, maybe the most important nozzle or tip that we give you on here. Look at that, that's our turbo nozzle. And the cool thing about the turbo nozzle is this is gonna let you tackle large areas and do it even faster. Because what it's doing is it's spinning. It's making yeah. a, a tornado of power with that 1800 PSI. So let's go over to these brick All right. pavers let's over here. Let's see it in action. Have you ever seen the turbo nozzle? Because this is an exciting day. If you <laughs> I don't know, it. should I be sitting down? Should well, we have a drum roll? Here, here's what's cool. Now watch, I'll show you this. So you saw how we were using the other ones, but mm -hmm. just, 
Just do a little spot right there. See how Ooh. it's a circle? You didn't yeah. expect that. I'll, I can make another one right there. So look at that. So now it's spinning that power. So when I crank this up, you're just going to hear the power that I'm getting. So now I'm able to cover these large areas a lot more quickly. And I can do the whole patio, the whole driveway. And I can start further away. Look at that cone of power that you're getting. But when I really want to get close, I can do that as well. But this is the way to do those large areas. The sidewalk and driveway, the deck. But what about that PVC fence? I've got the, the whole white PVC fence across the whole backyard. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, Every year, it's the same thing. Just in the middle section of the fence, not the bottom two or three feet or the top two, two, two or three feet. It's just that, that middle section is all green. This is amazing for that because you can get through it so quickly. Imagine if you had to scrub the entire fence. You know, yeah, I don't you'd have be a out huge there for yard, hours. But exactly. This changes that. And you don't have to have any experience. You don't have to have any skill or strength. Okay, I don't need to be a licensed contractor right. to I mean, use just, this thing. Just feel that nozzle. I mean, in general. I thought you'd never it's, ask. It's, a, it's two pounds. Just in your hand. Ah, and isn't it neat when you pull awesome. the trigger, you get that power, but as soon as you let go, it stops. The it's noise not stops. heavy. It's not heavy at all. Right, and you don't have to hold on for dear life when you turn that on. No. Try, try using the turbo nozzle. You can do it on the, on okay. the wood fence. This wood fence, I mean, you, you would think that you would have to throw this away. So now you can start further away, but if you want a little bit more power, you just get close. Actually, I'm doing a pretty good job. Imagine how much area Whoa. you could cover and how quickly you could do it. Look at that. Yeah, if you really wanted to get into that mold. Right. There you go. See how you get closer and you can utilize more look power one-handed? I'm doing it one-handed, Peter. Yeah, you look at that Ooh. when you really get close. But that turbo nozzle is such a game changer in wow. the amount of area that you can do. This, because this could be addicting. You, you're going to want to like do everything around you, the house. You're 100% right. The driveway, because, the stones, the right. brick, the pavement, the sides of the house. 100%. If you have a shed, uh, great for cleaning cars and boats Perfect. and all that stuff. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll run out to okay. the car and I'll show you how we can put, you know, get the car all ready to go. We can put soap on the car, then we can rinse it clean, get the wheels, all, right. all of that. Let's it's open amazing. up the HSN car wash and, and the whole it. crew can <laughs> drive their cars right in. If you don't have a pressure washer, don't rent one own one today. Don't borrow one from a friend. Don't, you know, hit up the neighbor and, you know, try to trade a large pizza <laughs> to borrow the pressure washer for a few hours. You get to take it home. You get to own it. Uh, I was talking to my producer before the show. He said, yeah, he's rented a pressure washer before. It cost him $60. He had only four hours to get his entire spring cleaning project done. And he had to figure out how to get that thing in the back of his car and take it back in time. You have a pressure washer that you can own today. It's one of our biggest, it's one of our most convenient, and one of our most portable units we've ever offered because it has the new large size wheels, plus it has that handle for the turbo nozzle, and you don't have to buy anything else. All the nozzles, all the attachments are included. There's nothing else you have to worry about. They're all on board. And best of all, there's no oil, there's no gas, there's no fumes. It's electric. So it's going to be super powerful. We're going to head outside and check in with Peter and see what Peter's up to. Peter, did you find some cars to wash? <laughs> exactly. I got a nice dirty one right here. Now, here's what's cool about this. Now we've gone to the 40 degree tip. So that's the white one. <laughs> and I'll show you that. You can see how that's much wider on that, that fan kind of spray that we're getting. But the same thing, when I want more power, I can get a little bit closer. But what we're going to do is try to just get most of the loose dirt off here. Maybe just get the car wet and ready to go because, let me get in a wheel well right here, get a little bit on the tires and the rims. But now, I can just head back to our unit right here. And quick and easy, I'll put that 40 degree back. I'll grab our low pressure soap tip. So now, this, as soon as I put that black on there, that soap tip, it automatically knows to dispense the soap. I don't have to do anything. Just put your soap in that 64 ounce detergent tank and you're set to go. We're gonna put the soap on at low pressure because I don't wanna be blasting the soap everywhere. But look at the amount of soap that I can put on your car, your boat, your RV in seconds. Get all of that soap on there. I'm going to put some on that tire and under the wheel well, the winter time, salt and sand. Now you can just let the soap sit there for a minute or two. Change this back out. I mean, you can see how quickly it is to change those tips. It really makes it simple. Now I'm back to 40 degree. 
and I can start washing the car, cleaning it off. I can get nice and tight on those headlights, blast away all the bugs and dirt and debris. To me, this is the best way to really clean that car. And I can see more of the dirt right there, but as I get close, it blasts it all away. Look at that just eliminating all the dirt, but no elbow grease. I don't have my hand in a bucket of water with an old rag. This is the way to clean the car. And getting the tires and the wheels, look at this, I can clean the tires, blast away all the dirt on the rims and wheels. Get the wheel well right there, the whole side of the car. I mean, this is the way to wash your car. So you'll be doing this every week with your pressure washer. And with that 25 feet of pressurized hose, I can get all the way around the car. I don't have to keep moving it. I mean, it's simple to move, but if you don't have to, you don't have to move it at all. I mean, I think that's easy. How about this now? So I'm gonna put that zero degree tip on. I don't think we've shown you that yet. Cause I wanna go back here. One of the things that we forget about when it comes to maintaining the outside of our house or the landscaping is what the condition of the outside of the house looks like, whether it's vinyl siding, whether it's going to be brick face, stucco. Look at that zero degree tip. I'm able to hit this at over 16 feet away and still maintain that power. This is vinyl siding, but it could be brick. It certainly could be that aluminum siding and wood siding. So I can clean that, again, something that would be impossible to clean without the pressure washer. But I can also clean the windows. How about blasting away the dirt and the, all the bugs that are in the screens without removing them? You will be amazed at all the dirt that just pours out of these screens and windows and you're not doing any hard work. It's very simple. Here I can hit the shutters. I mean, this is the way you want to clean. One hand, just letting the power of that pressure washer do the job. So this is many, many times more powerful than your garden hose. And here's the really neat thing about using a pressure washer. We're using less water than using your garden hose. Even at our 1800 PSI, we're using 1.2 gallons per minute, which is really the best that we've ever had. But I'm gonna change this again. Sarah, I want you to see what I can do with this patio furniture. This is the coolest. Look at this one. I, I like this, this mesh chair we have right here. It doesn't really look like it's dirty because maybe we've forgotten what color it is. But watch this as I start to just blast away and you see all the dirt and grime that just pours out of there. This is the way to get it clean without chemicals, without scrubbing. I mean, that is a lot of dirt and we're just getting it all out of there fast and easy. So you don't have to replace those. You don't have to replace those items. You can get them clean. So it's not only the patio furniture. How about the cushions? Watch this one as I'm able to blast all that dirt and grime on those cushions as well. So if you have patio cushions that just, they just don't look like they're gonna make it through another season, try it with your pressure washer, you're gonna be amazed. We can do all of this. You're gonna walk out your front door, you're gonna walk out your back door, and you're gonna walk all around and see so many different surfaces that you can clean with this pressure washer. It does an amazing job, and it really is the easiest way to clean I mean, I'm sure you've borrowed and maybe you've rented a pressure washer. Having one of your own that you can use multiple times throughout the year. You can wash your car every week. I mean, everybody is going to love this pressure washer, and it really is the best we've ever had. Thank you. Thank you so much, Peter, and great demonstrations. I was just watching you wash that car, and I thought, well, think about it. Before you go into a car wash, what's the first thing they do? Someone takes the pressure washer to your car. Don't pay someone else when you can do it yourself at home. Use it a few times. You're doing your own car washes. You're cleaning that boat. You're cleaning off, you know, the bike tires after a muddy bike ride. It's great for the whole family. And today you're getting our best value. You're getting our today's special. This will be our best value that we will offer this year on a pressure washer. And I know it's that time of year you're getting everything out of the garage. You're thinking about setting up the patio furniture hopefully very soon. Pick your color and you can get it in at a today's special price. A price for one day only. We took care of the shipping and handling so that's gonna save you. We also are giving you those five flexible payments to space out your payments over the next five months. But look at this. Look at your fence before a pressure washer and after. Do you know I was on air last summer with a, a caller. He said he took a pressure washer to his fence and his wife was out of town for a few days. 
When his wife got home, she said, oh, honey, thanks for putting up a new fence. It's the best. She had no idea. It wasn't a new fence. It was the same fence after a pressure washer. Now, every guy who's listening to that story should buy a pressure washer. <laughs> because it, I'm telling you, there's so many different jobs. And I know I've had the honeydew list that I've got to get to. Pick the pressure washer jobs. You get them done, you get immediate <laughs> satisfaction, you see the results, but it really does an amazing job. That fence, did you see that fence? That was mm -hmm. our friend Tim. Tim works here, you know Tim. Yeah. And listen, I mean, Tim's a great guy, but he's not a professional with this pressure washer. He's probably used one over the years. The difference in that fence, I mean, it absolutely looks brand new. And that fence is probably four or five years old in the Florida mm -hmm. sun, it just looks a mess. Mm -hmm. You would immediately think, well, it's time to replace that fence. Not anymore, this pressure washer makes such a difference. And that wasn't a lot of work. I no. talked to Tim, he said, I think that, that, that section you see there, that's like 12 minutes. Wow, and you could do that at home. You don't have to pay somebody. Now, right. even if you are repainting or restaining, they often say, take a pressure, wash it to it first, right? 100%. Certainly painting the outside of your house. That's one of the areas we forget. I mean, every, every you know, seven or eight, ten years, you're like, oh, we got to repaint the house. But in between that, if you use a pressure washer, you'll be amazed. I I'm telling you, every season, I have a covered por porch or a patio in the back. And it doesn't get rain on that side of the house, so it's still the same color as the rest. When I hit that with the pressure washer every year, <laughs> I'm telling you, black dirt is just, and I have a yellow, a right. lemon yellow house, my Where wife Debbie always from? says. It's unbelievable, just black dirt pouring off there. And with this zero degree tip, it makes it so simple. There is no other way to clean the outside of your house. But I love it when you can go to the second story and clean those windows and screens without having to remove them. It's fantastic. You can do this so simple and easy. And I, I, I think it's so neat that you get those great results right away. You will get obsessed yeah. a little bit, yeah. as you said earlier. Well, it's immediate gratification. Oh, yeah. You don't have to wait to see the results. You actually watch it drip away. And like you said earlier, you don't know what's on your house, what's in your driveway, what's on your stones, what's on your fence, what's on your paved pathway. You don't really know how bad it is until you take a pressure washer to it. it exactly. I know we have a, we have a little video clip and, and there's, a, there's a guy doing a driveway and the driveway looks fine until you hit that small spot and all of a sudden you notice mm -hmm. that the difference is so huge. Here you can see using it as a car wash. And you know what, I'll show you in a second how easy it is to set up. There you can see all the different you know, tips that you can use. Certainly there's the uh, detergent tank, which is huge. I think even on these you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollar machines, they don't have that detergent tank that big. But it is amazing the difference and the immediate difference mm -hmm. when using that pressure washer. So if you have concrete of any type, you know, just a normal you know, cement or concrete, it gets so dirty and you don't know it until you use the pressure washer. And the first, you could write your name with that dirt in there right. when you see this with the pressure washer. But think about that with the turbo nozzle because you can cover that huge area so quickly. And let's do that. You want to, we'll take a, like kind of a close up look yeah, at the unit. Yeah, why don't you give us a, a full tour? One of the things is so great. Because this is different than we've ever done before here yeah, at Yeah, it's a total redesign. So you can see they've made that whole area, the motor is smaller than it's ever been, more powerful using less water, but we have this whole steel frame around it, and you've seen that with some of the big commercial units, so we're protecting that as well. And here's all you have to do. You're just going to take that, I'll go the other way, right there. You're just gonna thread your hose on, just like you hook it up to that outdoor faucet. You just hook it up here, you're set to go. You've got your 35 foot electrical cord out of the back. You're gonna plug that in, Turn on the water and there's the on off switch. Turn that on and that's it. You are ready mm -hmm. to go. It is that simple. This and then, is the soap dispenser. Yeah, I mean, look, look at that. Look at that. And that whole entire. Yeah, what's normally the we used to have again? a little 64 ounces. 64 it used ounces. to be a tiny little cup for the detergent tank. And what happened is that it would, you would want to use all that soap, but it, remember, it doesn't just have to be with your car. Remember, you can use that detergent on the outside of your house. You can use a deck cleaner in here, and you mm -hmm. can put that all out on your deck or on your house, and you don't have to re, you know, refill this again and again and again. It is such an easy unit. Having all those cleaning tips yeah. and nozzles right where you want them is amazing. I like amazing. that, right at your fingertips. So all the yeah. tools are on board. By the way, the wheels on the back mean, hey, if you need to go over some bumpy sidewalks, up and down the curb, across the grass, no problem. So yeah. far, the blue is the best-selling color. It is brand new today. It's our most powerful, most portable, also the most incredible pressure washer we've offered in the history of HSN. Pick your color. We have gray, we 
we have teal, we have blue, we have green, purple, red, or yellow. If you have tough stains, if you have dirt, don't give up. Don't repaint, don't restain yet because you could be doing it with the pressure washer and get the perfect result the first time around. All right, yeah. let's finish up with some great demos. I mean, it really is the easiest way. And I know all of us, and if you want to take a minute to run outside and walk around the house, I think you're going to see this, the slimy green stuff on the brick. What about that exposed foundation we have on a lot of different homes with that cinder block? Mm -hmm. And it obviously on, you know, maybe the north side of the house just gets so full of slime and green. I mean, this is the easiest and the most effective way to get rid of that. If it is those stepping stones, this does the same great job. Again, these are things that you never even thought about cleaning. Maybe you never thought, well, how in the world am I going to clean those? Instant gratification, amazing results right away. I'm going to keep moving to the right because sure. I want to show you with this 25 mm -hmm. degree tip, you can get so many of the jobs done. Oh, this is a great piece of fence. This is, look, it's green. <laughs> that is an absolute, I think it's, I have to, you have to replace that I fence. I think it's There's seen no way. better, idea, uh, better yeah, days. But I mean, just being able to hit this with the pressure washer, just like we saw in Tim's before and after, that's how quickly you can wow. bring it back to life. Now, I like, this doesn't have to just be that fence around your yard. This can be That's your, the your color deck. That's that wood underneath. It's beautiful wood, but you can get your deck back in shape. Maybe it's just that that wood railing that's leading up to your back patio or up to the house mm -hmm. and it just has seen better days. I can even get out front here and do that part. And you can get in all the nooks and crannies Absolutely. with the pressure washer. This is an impossible job without the pressure washer. It's just a job that you would never do. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, how am I going to scrub the fence? And you know Nobody's what? You can do that. it with one hand and you can do it without getting wet. Exactly. You don't have to do much with this. I mean, you don't have to get no all involved with the grease. water. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. the best thing. You don't have to get and a scrub brush or get down on your hands and knees. It's just so fast. It's so easy. And you're going to see those results because we've forgotten. We've forgotten how great those brick pavers can look. We've forgotten how great the outside yeah. of the house looks. This makes it really come back to new again. Or just mm -hmm. at least bring back that color. I mean, there was a reason you painted your house a nice color. It was the reason you put those pavers in. You built that new back patio. This is the way to keep yeah. it looking great. And it's so easy. I mean, I think this is maybe my favorite outdoor tool because it makes you look like a star yeah. every time you take it out. <laughs> and it's actually it's, fun to use. Okay, absolutely. Give, give, give me that. Do it. All right, so even if you live alone, even if you don't have a handyman, you don't have a licensed contractor, I can do this. I can take it right up to my favorite stone walkway. I, I had a back deck in Minnesota, Peter, that would get so covered with mold. It was actually oh. slippery. Well, there's a lot of rain and it right? constantly stays wet and then that mold builds up. This is the Look answer. Ooh, and it's yeah. so easy. Now, you did that exactly right. You see, you, you saw a little bit more dirt in those nooks and crannies. Yeah. You just you get a little get bit closer there. and you blast that away with all that power. So that 25 degree nozzle is just one of really the five, mm -hmm. but that's the one that you're gonna use most often. And then the zero degrees, the, that red one, that is going to put that power 16 feet in the air. So if you think about that second story being about 10 feet or so, mm -hmm. you're gonna be able to blast away all that dirt all and right, grime there. Here we go. And the turbo <laughs> nozzle. Well, let me switch it out Look for you. That. I know you wanna do this. It, let's, go, let's go to that zero degree. I love degree. that you can also yeah. choose the intensity of the water, right? Like what if you're working with something a little bit more fragile, like stuff? Go. Then you, you want to go with that 40 degree, you exactly. The 40 degree, okay. Again, you go from zero to 25 to 40 and you vary that power. So now you're gonna have that laser jet and you can blast that. See, now you can reach that Whoa. window. Is this good for spiders? Oh, what yeah. about like wasp nests or hornet's nests? Yeah, down here we have those mud daubers. I have them everywhere at our house. But that's the difference. If you have 1800 PSI, obviously that's amazing. But if you don't have the way to utilize it with all those different cleaning tips, it's not going to be as effective. Look at that. And I'm doing it with one hand. I know. I think, so they're, I think they're telling it's us so we have to stop talking oh, about okay. this, but you want to keep cleaning. I, it, I this is an addiction. It's going to happen to you. And it does. It makes you feel better <laughs> when you does. look outside. You see that clean driveway. You see that beautiful right. clean siding. You see that beautiful window again. Enjoy your home. Take care of your home. Protect your investment. That's something that you love here at HSN. And take advantage of the today's special. It's an exclusive. You can't find it anywhere else. It's a worldwide launch of this brand new style. And don't forget, you can also add HSN.
Amazon Protection Plus so you can start shopping smarter, better. We're gonna stay outdoors. We've got more great stuff, including a tiller coming up next. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. studio. We're live at HSN. My name is Sarah. Peter Colin is here. Still here. <laughs> Can't get rid of this guy. It just sticks around. But I'll tell you what, I'm glad you're here. You got rid of the dirt on the outside of the house. Yes. But so much of us are tracking dirt inside the house. Or maybe it's the sand. Maybe it's the salt from all the snow, from all the shoveling. Exactly. Wherever we go, we're bringing it inside, aren't no, we? Oh, oh no, not anymore. Not, Not anymore. anymore. <laughs> this is finally going to be your favorite doormat because here's what it's going to do. It's going to do exactly what a doormat was meant to do. It's going to remove the dirt from your shoes, your feet, whatever it is, before you get in the house. It's going to trap all that dirt so you don't bring it into the house, so you're not damaging your hardwood floors or you're not cleaning and sweeping and vacuuming every single day. This is going to work. And I want to show you this because this is so cool when you see it. So again, just as an example, here's just a, a sandy boot. So I have this sandy boot on here and I'm just going down to the mat and we'll be able to just, you know, I'm just going to wipe my feet, right? We're just wiping the feet. Great. So it gets that boot clean, which is fantastic. So all that dirt's gone down in that mat. But here's what I want to show you. What about the days and weeks that you're out there? Here's what this mat can do. Not just one boot, but hundreds of what? boots. This dirt was all inside of that what? mat. And, it's, and it shakes out that amazingly easy. But all of that sand and dirt was inside of our mat. And it's still doing its job to remove mm -hmm. dirt. And the best part is it's still outside your house <laughs> right. and not inside. What this would is that the... do to your floors oh, inside? How many times totally. would you be vacuuming to tackle that amount of sand and dirt? These are unbelievable. Mm -hmm. This is an AstroTurf mat. And what it does is that we have like hundreds and hundreds of tiny fingers grabbing all that dirt it's actually grabbing it from the, your shoes and what happens is then it brings it down so it stays in the mat so you don't have to worry about it just sitting on top you ever get a doormat and you yes. walk up to it and you search for a clean section right. of the mat to, to try to get your <laughs> and feet you don't clean know if you're actually making it worse exactly. like am I rubbing more dirt and mud right. on the bottoms of my feet but uh, here you can see it doing the job and it trapping all that dirt that's the big difference isn't it cool uh, and it's AstroTurf by Fieldsmith this is really yeah. really cool it's our only airing. They're very, very limited, and we have two colors for you. We have the evergreen, which is that beautiful sort of pine green color. We also right. have the color we're calling flint, which is sort like of the charcoal, charcoal yeah. gray, black. Uh, and you, you don't actually have to pour sand in it for this to work. No. But, Peter, what, uh, there is a reason for this Right, I'm just showing you that. Look at that now. <laughs> I missed the section right there. But as it goes into this mat, what's so cool about it is that it disappears in there. That's what you want. You don't want a mat where that sand and dirt and grit is just going to stay on top. Here, it continues to just eat up all that sand and dirt. And any dirt that goes in this mat is dirt that's not in your house. So that's mm -hmm. what's so great you about are, this. You have poured like keep, two pounds of oh, we sand could, we could keep into, going. That, into that mat and this is the time of year the snow is melting oh yeah and there's mud and there's mud, dirt yes. and there's salt and there's the sand anything and everything that you're walking on you're bringing it into your house and i'll tell you then you're doing more vacuuming you're doing more sweeping you're doing more cleaning uh, exactly and, and it's still collecting sand that you won't track into your house 100 percent. it'll still do wow. it it'll still be able to clean your feet and the great part is if you wanted to you could just totally 
wring it out, not wring it out, you could shake it out, then you can hose it down if you wanted to. These are durable mats that you're gonna have for a very long time. And I think that's the biggest thing about it. Look how it continues to eat up that sand. So let me just, I, I want you to see this. Okay. I know we don't have a lot of time. Again, look at all the sand that was in there and it's continuing to do its job. And I can shake that sand out in seconds and I can just put it back down and it can continue to do its job. That's it is amazing. amazing. All those little fingers wiping mm -hmm. your feet. Even if you have kids or pets or right. husbands like me that maybe don't take the extra time to wipe their feet, just walking over this mat, it's grabbing that dirt off your shoes and boots and sneakers and whatnot, and it's bringing and keeping it down inside that mat. This mat is gonna last such a long time. And if we have just a few seconds, here you can see it scraping mm -hmm. um, that dirt right off your shoes. I'm Let sorry. me give you the dimensions too. 36 yes, inches in length, 20 inches in width. And of course, it comes with a one-year limited warranty. But most of us are using these, what, right. disposable match you're you're buying a new one every single season or every single year what what right. good are these doing exactly and they get wet they get moldy i mean you can't certainly these are really I'm popular wiping the mud from yesterday on my shoes today exactly that's why these you know even if you think they look nice they just don't do what a mat is designed they don't to get do in the grooves of your boots and your shoes that's it, for exactly sure. this mat is going to do exactly what you want okay. a doormat to do don't be a doormat and don't miss out on this doormat thank you peter don't go away. Uh, he'll be back with our Fieldsmith Tiller at the end of the hour, which is also at a phenomenal price. So we only have a few hundred of those now to go around. So pick your favorite in the Evergreen or the Flint before they're gone. That's our only airing of the AstroTurf. And it's a fun show. So why not bring a little origami into the mix? This is our very exclusive line of folding and portable furniture. Rebecca Wood is here with the origami two-tier folding Hi. garden shelf. We want to get some organization done. It's our spring home month, and maybe you want to do some gardening outside, but you need something that can get wet, you need something that can get dirty, and you need something that's really durable because those pots full of flowers are really heavy. Rebecca. Exactly. <laughs> and this can hold 100 pounds. So that's wow. a lot of pots, a lot of soil. Two things that I found in my life that don't go together are age and gardening. <laughs> I used to be able to plop down on the ground and stay there for hours on end doing right. all of my gardening. Right. I can't really do that as easily these days. So what I want is something that I can prep all of my flowers, prep all of my plants, and then just put them into the ground when I'm done. But I don't want to spend a day or two putting together a shelf just so then I can start to do the gardening, right? That's where our origami comes in. Let me show you how easy it is to put this together. It's gonna come to you just like this. Flat box just like this. You just take it out of the box and you let gravity do all the work. It opens right up and then we've got this patented origami clasp right here with a flick of the wrist. You are holding this in, it is that clasp is holding it in place and making it so you can hold a hundred pounds. A hundred pounds. pounds. You could put a person on there. But exactly. You're not. You're going to put a hundred pounds of your plants, your soil, your mixing formulas, uh, maybe all your little spray and grows, and you're getting this little extra trellis. You are, which you can decide. One thing that I love about origami, they're great about versatility as well. So you can use this two different ways. You can put it right here and use it as a third shelf if you want oh. that extra storage so easy to put together or you can put it up here and you have a black backsplash I should say put it in just like that and you get six s hooks that you're able to hang from the top right here and then okay. you can hang all of your hmm. tools oh, whatever I see you want one. to yeah right like there over here you get these little hooks so if you have extra tools or trowels, everything you need right there. How yeah, about that? Exactly, just like that. Today's $59.95. We do have free shipping for you. And if you're a big fan of origami, you have it in your garage, you have it in your closet, you have it in your kitchen, you have it in your bedrooms and bathrooms. Now there is one that's heavy duty, serious for gardening, great at holding the weight capacity, holds 100 pounds. I love that it assembles instantly. In seconds. I mean, saying easy is even an understatement. And it's powder-coated steel. You can keep this out year-round, and it won't chip, it won't rust, it won't corrode. And I know we're talking about gardening today. And this is perfect for gardening, as you can mm -hmm. see there. But really, think about this wherever you need space. This is also a great 
barbecue table. This is so wonderful Ooh, right by your grill. That's a good idea. And because of this perforated top right here, mm -hmm. you can spray it down. So get it muddy, get it dirty, get it sticky. You can spray it down with water and in seconds it's clean. And if you want to use it seasonally, look at how easy it is to break down. You can bring it into your house and you could you know, showcase right. all of your beautiful flowers that you want and have to bring into the house during those this winter months. This is great too if you have a three season porch and you want to display all your plants on different levels. Uh, because it has a nice sturdy shelf on the bottom and it has that nice sturdy shelf on the top and you also get the little trellis in the background, uh, you could also use that for some of your ivies or anything that likes to, you know, cling on to something, right? Oh, that would be beautiful. I never thought of that. And because it can be wet and outside, it would also also make a great um, pool shelf so you can keep your toys and your oh, yeah. pool toys and all of your um, you can put towels. towels that'd be that'd be a great idea let me give you the dimensions it's 36 inches in uh, across so it's about three feet across three feet, yep. it's about three feet high at the highest point here and then it's a uh, 18 inches 18 wide 18 inches exactly. front to back so the footprint is small for all of the space that you're getting but you can see the two different ways that we've used it you get to decide when you get home do you want that backsplash to be able to hang all of your tools and have them at the ready when you need them or do you want to be able to have this great third shelf that has the lip so if you're oh, you know see. we have paint yeah. here Imagine if that fell off a shelf, the mess it would make. Mm -hmm. So you've got that extra protection. And this is, again, powder-coated steel, so it's gonna take a licking. Whether you keep it outside all year round, you don't ever have to worry about it rusting yeah. or corroding. And you know what's nice is that now everything is at a countertop length. So, you know, where are you gonna do your gardening? anywhere else. Are you going to be bending over on the patio? Or are you going to be bending down in the middle of the backyard? Are you going to be trying to do this on your back deck or your patio? That, that's backbreaking work if you're always leaning over. If you took all of your potting jobs and brought them up here, it'd be much more comfortable, right? You can do all of your prep work up here, so you're just bending down a little bit to put mm -hmm. them into the garden. And it's 25 pounds in order to hold 100 pounds of whatever you need to store. Oh, so easy. 25 pounds out of the box installs an instant we only have a few hundred to go around so final 150 now available thank you so much Rebecca thank you very great much great to see you you have a fabulous Easter you too happy Easter uh, happy spring home event everybody we are springing into spring yes we are and why not do it with a bird feeder I have news for Carrie Mobley she doesn't know this but I am a bird nerd Ooh. I love birds and I used to love having bird feeders in my home because every day when was a, a new exploration in nature. What bird would be in my backyard today? Well, if you love birds, <sighs> if you love nature, and if you love taking care of all the wild things outdoors, check out the Fieldsmith Solar Bird Feeder Steak. It's $59.95. It's a solar-powered bird feeder. The solar-powered lights are going to light up at night with the power of the LED technology. We have four colors for you. We have the blue, the purple, the red, or the yellow. This is all beautifully designed in thick glass. Oh. Carrie is here. Carrie, yes. lovely. Good Hi. to see you, my friend. Good morning. How's it going? Fantastic. Oh, yeah. This is taking bird feeding up to the next level for sure. Beautiful glass. And I know we are calling them colors, but I just want to point out that a couple of these have different flowers. For example, we have uh, the poppy here, and then we have um, a pansy. I'm sorry. This is the poppy, and then we have a pansy mm -hmm. and um, a sunflower as well. But it's less about that and just really more about the beauty beauty of this. This glass, the details along the edging are so beautiful. And just with the power of the sun, it's going to light up at night. And I have to tell you that I love it as a bird feeder, but once the birds have come, if I haven't had a chance to go out and get some more bird feed, um, I will put just water in here. And then it really becomes almost a beautiful bird bath as well. And um, I, I have a little uh, example over here. I wanted to show you these LED string lights inside of here. Sure. This is a solar panel. And just just to let you know, solar technology has come so very far in the last few years, even since I've been here on HSN. All it needs is about two hours of bright sunlight, and you will get hours and hours of bright light, especially with this LED light. So wait, when you cover up yep. the light, the LED lights go on here. Right, see, so we can kind of, it's oh, hard to cool. see in the, um, but it's really easy to put together. You're going to get it into a, in a couple pieces, and so basically you'll unscrew this part, and you slide this little bad boy right 
down into here and this is what's going to glow when we turn uh see and you could there we go now we've got a nice little shot of course the uh video that we have shows it even better but basically you're just gonna you know put it together like this and then you take your beautiful flower. And this is, is all this made in gorgeous? glass. This is this is really this is high quality. Beautiful. Piece. It looks like something you'd get in an art it, show it, or a it, gallery. It is art. It really is. And a lot of people don't feel comfortable planting flowers. Maybe they have a, a small space, but this is one of those pieces that's going to add such interest to your outdoor area. And you can pick and choose what kind of bird feed you put in there. And yeah. like you said, for all of those other bird nerds out there, yeah. this is something really special. Calling all bird nerds, you're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> and but this think time about, of year, it's just yeah, always special is. to have those birds that come back just for the spring. Mm -hmm. And it's such a great sign of, you know, that winter, that long winter that we had. And look at the way it glows at night. Aren't yeah, they gorgeous? Yeah, that's a gorgeous? great shot. So you can actually have these decorate your garden. I mean, even if you don't, you know, care about birds, you've never had a, a bird feeder in your life, you don't have to use bird seed. You can. Yeah, uh, I like using bird seed. It will attract the birds. And then also, once the bird seed is gone, you can also fill it with water. It becomes a great bird bath. Yeah, agreed, agreed. How fun. And of course, it's all waterproof, obviously. It's weatherproof. Um, the stake is super easy to install. You literally just press it down so you don't have to have a special mm -hmm. place for it. And because it's LED and powered by the sun, you don't have to worry about any extra batteries and you don't have to worry about whether or not you have a power source. But the colors are just spectacular. I mean. Look at the details along the edging here. And you nailed it. It really is like yard art. It's special. It's different. It's I've so never beautiful. seen anything like this. Right. And it really is taking that whole bird feeder concept up to a whole mm. new, very chic level. And I have just fallen in love. I have um, I have the sunflower and then I have the, um, the well, the one that I'm holding right here, the That's, red pansy. Yeah, you can order yep. by color, yep. blue, purple, red, or yellow. It's going to be about 27 inches high. That's with the steak. The flower itself is about 10 inches across. It's about the size of a dinner plate. You could fit a lot of bird <laughs> seed in there, and you're going to make a lot of birds very, very happy. The snow hasn't melted. They're hungry. Yes. Carrie, thank you so thank much. You, Great to see you. Don't go away. We'll be back with the tiller. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say YES to DIY at HSN. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. <laughs> this is how I get my guests in line here at HSN, but you know what? Uh, Peter's already got it figured out. Instead of hoeing or using a fork or using a rake, why don't you prep your soil before you plant? Loosen the soil, break up the soil, remove the weeds and the roots, and guess what? You can save your back and you can save a lot of time with the EarthWise 8.5 amp electric mini Tiller, four angled stainless steel tines are going to get the job done. Uh, this is, is this the old fashioned way that the old, That's the old the pitchfork? That's the backbreaking <laughs> way. That's the pain in the way. shoulders and back and <laughs> arms. Yeah, I mean. There's it, a better, there's a better way. Right, I mean, I think maybe that type of pitchfork, that, is, that's what's keeping you from having an amazing garden. You know, maybe planting all those vegetables or flowers, whatever it might be. This is going to be your secret weapon. This is what's going to allow you. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. That's crazy. Right? I mean, that's, that's a lot of work. Right? Because the ground can be really hard. Yeah. I mean, especially we're coming off, you know, a lot of cold weather in the ground. Well, anyway, you can forget all of that because this does such a great job. It's easy to handle. So even in those raised garden beds, you're going to be able to use this. So here's what's really neat. 
It's small enough, yet powerful enough to get the job done. 11 inches wide, it'll give you that 11 inch wide path. But if you're sick of weeding those areas where you want to create the garden, mm -hmm. if you're sick of trying to dig the soil, if you're trying to, you know, sick of trying to improve the soil and then get it ready for planting, this is absolutely this is the best time your to do secret it. weapon, yeah. And it is our last chance at this price, everyone. Last chance at this price. The price goes up at midnight. We have free shipping. That's going to save you, what, $18 or something crazy? Yeah, saving you over $17 in shipping and handling. Four flexible payments. All right, Peter, show us how it's done. I mean, it's so amazing what you can do with this. What I think you'll notice is that I don't have to fight with this. I'm not holding on for dear life. I mean, look at that. And then I'll raise that up again, just so you can see those tines on there, how they're spinning. And then all I'm doing is putting that down into the soil, and it does the job. And, you know, there's certainly a lot of items where looking at the reviews is a great way to go. This one, absolutely, take a mm -hmm. few seconds, look at the reviews, yeah. especially if you're looking at this and you're saying, well, I don't know, could that thing do enough? If, if this is, you know, so small and so light, how is it really going to be powerful enough? to really turn that soil for me. Well, those are all of yeah. the reviews. I yeah, mean, they think they all say pick. the same thing. Wow, I'm really surprised at how much power it had. I'm really surprised that it was able to do it. You know, we have some reviews. People have the really difficult to work with clay soil a little bit out mm -hmm. west, and then the hard, you know, just roots and rocks and just frozen soil. Now, you get this out there. All you do is add your extension cord, and it can turn the soil for you. So you don't have to use the pitchfork. So maybe now you're thinking, I have that one <laughs> area in the backyard it's just an unused area it's not that big maybe it's got grass and weeds all over it this is going to do that you all you do is you have a safety switch you turn that on look at here while we've added peat moss and you're able to improve that soil get it ready for planting you know what all these things lead to you got the weeds you're getting those out look at that we're going to clear those weeds without damaging the flowers right next to it in seconds all of these steps, mm -hmm. they just mean you're gonna have a bigger and better garden, yeah. more and better results. That's the great thing. If you spend, imagine you spend all this time with a pitchfork down on your hands and knees, planting, and then pff, nothing happens. It just doesn't turn out the way you want. That's disappointing. But if you can pre you know, prepare to have great results by using this tiller, because you can get rid of all the backbreaking work so you can plant more and better vegetables, you can also make sure that you are getting those results by adding fertilizer and, and mixing that into the soil, improving your soil. All of this gets it ready. You're aerating the soil. You're going to have those results. You know, if you're competitive about your planting, <laughs> Maybe you want the first tomato in the neighborhood. Yeah. Secret weapon right okay, here. Okay, show us I, how it works. Yeah, let's. I'll, I'll move this back down this way. And, and, and it's not very heavy. You not just at pick all. that up with one hand. Well, I mean, I'm pretty strong. You, you no. are. 20, it's, it's 23 a, pounds. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm, just, I'm kidding. It's 25 pounds. And again, it has the wheels on it, so moving it in and out of the garage is super easy. And then to use it, here's, here's what everyone wants to know. I, I've never used the tiller before. What do I do? Here's what's great. We have that safety switch and this bell arm right here. So when I pull that bell arm, nothing happens. So I hit the safety button, then I do that. But you see, it doesn't jump out of my hand. But now, at any time, if I let go of that bell arm, it stops. So if it gets away from you or anything happens, it stops. So I'll turn that back on again. And all you do is just let it go down into the soil. This can go down a maximum of eight inches into the soil. And then I'm just nice and slowly moving that back. And it is doing all the work. So as I'm moving this back, I'm creating that 11 inch wide path, a maximum of eight inches down into the soil. So, you don't have to use a lot of muscle. Not at I all. I notice. I mean, basically, if you could run a vacuum cleaner, right. you, you could you can run this this tiller. All you need is to plug it in, and the length of the cord on this one is let's see. Well, it's just a, it's a very little short cord right there. You just add your extension. cord. Oh, you add cord. your extension cord. Right, you okay. add your extension cord, and you're ready to go. I was going to say but it doesn't say. I wanted you to see this, so I ran over that that area twice. But remember, with this, you could go row after row, and how long would that take? And look at this. Here's what the planting would be now. Look what I've done with that soil. So you're planting. Look at we even have bark in there. Planting. Here's the planting right there. I dropped my mm -hmm. seedling in. 
grab my and seeds in and I cover. the soil is so loose. It's, it's, it's beautiful. fluffy. beautiful. Exactly. It's fluffy and soil. And that took just a few minutes. So even this small area, mm -hmm. you know, using all those garden tools where you'd have to really dig the soil yourself, I mean, that is a lot of work. And same thing. So if I've done this once or maybe I haven't done it yet and we were looking at it in the video, same thing. I've got... I've got some fertilizer here, but how about this? You know, sometimes you feel like your soil isn't, you know, up to par. You want to add mm -hmm. that peat moss. So I can put a so little bit of that in there. So this is great if you want to add nutrients exactly. to the soil, which is also really important. Or if you want to work in some mulch, or if you want to, you know, sort of work in those extra weeds and all that organic matter, it's a perfect decision for you. Exactly. A quick Look update, at that. Uh, our Fieldsmith AstroTurf mats have sold out. Congratulations. Oh. So thank you, nice. Peter, so much. They're gonna love those. Uh, if you're just tuning in, this is our last chance if you want this low price on the Fieldsmith Tiller. I was reading the reviews before before the show. Uh, about 40 out of 50 of the reviews are all five stars. All five stars. That means you love this so much you went to HSN, you wrote a rave review, and it was everything you wanted the tiller to be. It goes eight inches deep. It's about 11 inches wide. It's electric, so you don't have to worry about the gas exactly. or the fumes or replenishing the oil it, or anything like that. Exactly. It's very easy to use. I'm actually going to turn this around. I want everyone to see it from the front, how great this is, how you can use this. So I'll turn that on again, and I want you to see that. I mean, when you see it close up, the amount of power that we have right there. Look at that. Now that is turning some soil. It's amazing what this can do. So even that hard, rocky root, look at that. Yeah, what if you I mean, have that, like old weeds, you've got old roots you wanna you wanna dig up, or, or maybe you wanna plant a new area of your yard and extend the garden or make a new garden? Is this great yeah. for vegetable and flower gardens? Absolutely. Um, just a couple of years ago when we were we were presenting this item just outside there, all we did was frame it out with basically with your two by fours, mm -hmm. and it was grass in there. But then we just took the tiller onto nice. the grass and turned all of that. We did it a few times and the soil was amazing. So if you want to clear out some grass, maybe you want to resod an area. You can clear the old grass and weeds with the tiller, prepare that soil, put the sod down and you're set to go. So whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to grow, preparing the ground with this tiller is amazing. And I think one of the hardest things to grow and really have success can be the vegetables. And maybe you want a huge yeah. vegetable garden. This is definitely the way to go. And I want to show you one more thing I think is so cool about this. So we were talking about using this, and I've been using it with the wheels down, and it makes it very easy to do. But as you become a little bit more, you know, experienced with this, you can click the wheels up just like that. So now, if we want to get even deeper, we want to take full advantage of that eight inches down into the soil. You can do that with the wheels up. I mean, it is an unbelievable way to go. And, and talk about the quality of the, the <laughs> tines themselves. Those are also steel, right? Yeah, we can get a little close-up of those as well. Yeah, no, don't they, put your they fingers near there. Are. You can see them, those four steel tines. You know, they, they don't turn super fast. They turn at about 500 RPM because they're providing the power. But you mm -hmm. saw the way it dug up that soil. Every single one of the reviews says the same thing. I was really surprised. Because many of those people were thinking, well, I've had, you know, a big gas power tiller. And what could this electric one really do? Remember, these aren't electric mm -hmm. tools that you remember 15 years ago. Right. Earthwise has brought us, I mean, just amazing, amazing, powerful electric tools that all you're doing is adding your extension cord and never, ever have to worry about starting anymore, worrying about the gas and the fumes. This is simple. And this is the one yeah. for people who just want to have their own garden. You're not looking to till the fields acres and acres. <laughs> you want to have a super That's cool garden. Right. This is the tiller for you. And what I love about it is that, I mean, this is an important step in gardening. Before you plant, they always say prepare the soil. So whether you're brand new to gardening, uh, maybe you've tried all these other uh, handy dandy tools. Maybe you've tried the rakes. I don't even know what the name of this one is. That's a, that's a hoe, okay. Uh, this is your pitchfork yeah and sometimes you know you've got to really like jam it in there and you've got to use all this elbow grease and you've got to throw your back into it can't do just it just to try to flip and turn the soil let let peter do the work in fact even better let the earthwise tiller do the work only a couple minutes last chance to get this amazing spring break price the price goes up tonight at midnight if there are any of these remaining at the end of our presentation Already so popular. We have four flexible payments for you. We have free shipping. Uh, so even if you were to go to a hardware store, could you find this model? 
This is exclusive to us here at HSN. Uh, it, it could be. It, I mean, it is, does, when I just, when you put the wheels up, get your experience yeah, and then put the was, wheels up. that was awesome. I mean, that is unbelievable. This soil is getting better and better and better mm -hmm. every time I use the tiller in here. It really is so effective. The power is there. You are going to love this. And I really think that if you focus on this as being that secret weapon to get the best results that you've ever had, mm -hmm. this is the way to do it. So I love that. We're going to do less work. Yes. And we're going to get better results in I our garden. I love that. How okay, final that? minute. Why why do we till the soil? You know, like, who are you asking? Yeah. Oh, you're asking me? Yeah, you're the oh. expert, right? <laughs> of course, I was just joking. <laughs> well, for, we want to prepare that soil, so we're going to aerate the soil. We're going to turn the soil okay. so we can get the plants in the ground. We're going to be able to take care of all the weeding. And if we want yeah. to improve that soil, to make the soil better by adding the nutrients, you certainly can... mixing in that fertilizer mm -hmm. into the soil is a great way to go. And all of that can be done by the tiller, and that means it's not done by you and yeah. your hands and knees and if using you... all those other tools. If you have this a, is the way to do it. a compost pile. Sure. You could you could add your compost and then work. use the tiller to any cultivate. Any of that organic exactly. material is going to really improve the soil. So uh, free shipping for today, the price break for today, uh, those extra flex pays for today. It really adds up to some great savings. And finally, you can retire these old tools. That's it. We're Thank done. you, Peter. Thank great to you. see you. You have a great fun. day here at HSN. And check out his today's special, the Field Smith property. They're all amazing. We'll see you up next. Coming up here, Valerie's up next. Today. Just said. <laughs>